Also, if you do trick videos here, it comes today with a Fluffle slash Fright for deck. Uh, this is one of my Halloween deep decks that I've been using throughout October. Uh, I kind of feel it's like very fun to play with. Now, this is a non competitive deck, but if you guys can make it competitive, help me by posting some suggestions in the bottom of the comment. Anyway, on to the deck profile. So, I'm running one Edge of Amp, where uh, it's a fusion target for Fright for Sheet. Now, I have been considering adding a the, one of those Fright for er, monsters, like the doll, but I kind of felt it was a little unnecessary. But if you guys feel like it, Try, try to tell me why. And three Tomahawk, where I can copy the name, so I can copy something with Chain or any of the Sabers or Saul. Try to go into Fusion Place and Sabers, where it's a if it's in my graveyard, I can put the one card back to my eye deck. That's special summon it, so easy Fusion Saul. Where I can ditch a fluffle monster from my hand to the graveyard, draw two. I can put one card or want my hand to either top or in the bottom of my deck. So it's a little downside, but I like that extra draw just in case. Three dogs where I can search for either a edge of sabers or another fluffle monster from my deck and add it to my hand. Two bears where I can set this card. I could just ditch it to uh, search toy vendor and just like I like, activate it. Then also, if I have it on the field, I could tribute it to target one polymerization from my grave, add to my hand. So that's another plus as well. Two owls, where if I know someone, I could add a poly from my deck to my hand and I could pay 500 life points to fuse one fright for fusion monster from my X deck. Using monsters from my hand or field. So, yeah, I won't have to use Polly, but helps out a little bit. Uh, Fluffle Sheep, where if I control a Fluffle Monster, oh, well, Fluffle Monster, I could just send it back to my hand, special summon it, and I can special summon a Edge of Monster from my hand or graveyard. So, that really helps out. Three Mouses. What I don't like about Mouses is that if you have two in your hand, you can't, <laughs> you're just screwed. But, if you have your fusion plays, you can. What I like to do is like if I have one, I let to normal summon. It. I can special summon, it. normal summon it to special summon the other two for my. So that way it's more of a fuel for my either my wolf or tiger plays. And that's it for the monster lineup. For next my fusions, I run two fight for fusions. Whereas this is the miracle fusion of the fight first. And fluffles, so where I can banish the fusion materials from my side of field or graveyard to summon a fright for a monster, or I can get heat to go over my opponent's monsters. One poly, or I can fuse uh, the extra fuse, and uh, mostly for like a uh, the bear or owl search. And next, dark fusion. What I like about this card is like if I send this. Sent from my hand or side of the field to the graveyard to fusion monsters and listen on a fiend type fusion monster. Luckily, they're all fiends. Okay? And special summon that monster from my extra deck. So, yeah, this really helps out. And also, the second sentence the special summon monsters can be targeted by opponent's spells, traps, or card effects this turn. So, that really helps out against like something like, okay, Mirror Force. Uh, well, not really Mirror Force, but something like Compulse or Balance Trapple like that. And one Fret for Factory, I feel like, okay, I, if I can Banish a Poly, then I can spe uh, Fusion Summon a Fret for Fusion Monster that helps out uh, from my hand or side of the field. And if it's sent from the graveyard, I can target one of Banish Fret for Fusion mon uh, cards and add it to my hand. So that really helps out. Three toll vendors, where I can discard one card, draw another one, and reveal if it's a fluffle monster, special summon it, and if not, send it to the graveyard, so that adds a little fuel to like something. If I draw like edge of sabers, that would help. And 
If this is at Farm Fields or the Graveyard, I can add one Fluffle Monster or Edge of Sandbirds from my deck to my hand. So that helps me deck them a little bit. Crane, I feel like it's a good draw. Where, okay, if a Fluffle, uh, fluffle Monster I control is destroyed by attack or a card effect, I draw a card. So, I will draw a card and I get to have target one of the destroyed monsters as my hand. So that really helps out. One Bottleness to get over... To banish one of my opponent's annoying monsters. Compulse as well to send right back. And lastly, three fusion reserve. Where I get to review one fusion monster from my extra deck, add one of the materials, and poly from my graveyard to my hand. So that really helps me out a little bit. And to the extra deck. One Chimera. Where it's a it's an okay version of Goyo where if I destroy my monster. I could have it send it back to my side of the field, but its attack is half. And also, Chimera gains 300 attack for each of those cards. That's basically if I destroy my opponent's monsters, they, and I have them on my field, it gains 300. And also, when it attacks, my opponent can activate cards or uh, cards or effects until the end of them step. So that really helps out. Two Leos, where it's a, yeah. Like a Volcasaurus, where I could target one of my opponents, so that really helps out. One bear, where if I destroy a monster by battle, and send it to the graveyard, I can equip it to this card, and bear will just increase by 1,000 attack. Three wolves, what I love about wolves is that sometimes I could get fused with uh, either sabers and four other fluffles, such as mouse or even sheep. I can attack almost like five to even seven, eight times if possible. So yeah, that helps out. And three tigers, where if I do the same play as I did with wolf, I can pop that many cards from my opponent's side of the field. So this really helps out where I like to play with my regular tiger and wolf play, pop my opponent's monsters in back row, and have wolf attack that many times for game. So yeah, it really helps out, and I'd like to see if possible everyone try it. Next one, two fret for sheeps, where if it attacks, my opponent can't activate cards or effects until the end of the demo step, and if it's ever destroyed, I get it back with 800 attack. So it will come, and I notice that it always, always comes up with 2,800, so eh, it's not so bad. And in case... I don't really want to go for fusion plays, I want to go for XC plays. I have a 101 to steal my opponent's monsters or to survive a little bit. I'll be using something like, okay, a dog with a dog or a dog and a tomahawk to exceed into. And same way with Castell to get, uh, get over my opponent's annoying cards. And lastly, Ghost Trick Alucard. If you're going to have a Halloween deck, you got to have Alucard. So, I like to have Alucard here, where, if possible, I can have Sabers, or Saw together, or any of the Edge of Monsters, like that, uh, with Bear, okay? So yeah, and also, I've been getting suggestions on Design Fright for, where everyone's saying like it's a Call of the Haunted, I kind of feel it's really not unnecessary, but if you guys feel it's just, it's necessary, Go ahead and add it. I've tried, it's sometimes good, and sometimes it's bad. So, to, well, to me. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, post it down in the comments section. And this is Drake Niels, signing out. Take care.